In this repair, we're going to be working on the Samsung Galaxy S7. Customer brought it in because the SIM card reader is bad. He inserted the SIM card the wrong way and he ended up damaging the pins inside. So now the phone cannot read his SIM card. Now the phone is in a bad shape, as you can see. Customer loves the phone, he wants it fixed. I told him it may cost him more than the price of the phone. He's okay with it. So we're going to work on fixing the SIM card tray. If you look, the screen is starting to peel off from here and the back is broken from here. I told them that by prying this glass, it may break further because of this crack and break from this side. So this is a weak point. And also the screen, there's a chance that something may happen to the screen. I mean, I see peeling off from the top here. So I made the customer aware that uh, the screen can break and the back glass can break as well. He's okay with it. And as long as he's okay and he's willing to pay the price, we're gonna do it for him. I do have SIM card readers for the Galaxy phones, so we're gonna take this apart and replace the SIM reader and test to make sure everything's good. I made a lot of changes to the shop here because of the overwhelming number of packages that we have in the shop, everything is all over the place. At one point, the shop next door was for lease and I made a mistake by not renting that place it would have done me a lot of good. <laughs> we are using almost 60% of the shop for customers and stuff that we display and sell and 40% for us to work with. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna push the wall to the front so we have 40% to the customer and 60% for us. That will create more room. I mean, I love the shop and I love the layout of the shop but we do have to organize to make things easier to find. I'm just applying heat to the back glass of the phone. I'm gonna start from an area that's not cracked and that's difficult to find because it's cracked all over. I thought it was cracked only from the top right, but it's cracked from here, from here. this area is going to be difficult. And success. Very good. And as you can see, the glass is still in the same condition. But even if the glass broke, that's not a big deal. We already told the customer, based on the condition of the phone, the glass can break further. Let's take the screws off the phone and get the motherboard so we can replace the SIM reader. What's nice about taking screws off Samsung phones is they're all the same size. Unlike iPhone, where most of the screws are of a different size. Apple wants you to create long screw damage. They want you not to be able to fix your phone. Okay, so all the screws are out. We're going to have to remove the motherboard.
Okay, so that's the motherboard. Let's take it under the microscope. This is how a new reader looks like. So let's compare. We see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins. Same here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we see a pin on each side here. And the ones in the middle. And we can see every one of those pins, this, this. Let's compare and look at the customer's board. I mean, look at this. We can tell that some of the pins are not showing through those holes. Look at this. We should have two, 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 and two missing. So it's obvious that the tray is damaged. Uh, one thing I forgot to take off is the rear camera. So we're going to take it off and I'm going to preheat the board to about 200 degrees Celsius. It will make removing the SIM reader a lot easier. And this is the rear camera. I just removed it. So we do not damage it with heat. Let's put it on the side. Uh, we're going to preheat the board for maybe a few, maybe two minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, so I think two minutes is enough. Preheater is currently at 219 degrees Celsius. Let's take the board out. It's going to be hot. And put the board right over here on the board holder. Okay. And the tray is out. Let's take a look under the microscope. So as you can see, the same reader is soldered from a lot of areas. It's like dealing with a BGA chip. Apply flux. And this is the new flux from Amtec that we are currently selling on our website. Great flux. I use it every day. Great. This flux makes solder flow really nicely. And anything else? We covered the edges. Maybe we did not get this one here. The pad can run 
but it cannot hide. This is one case where we do not use a lot of flux. Just enough for the pads. Very nice. Maybe not so much from here. We need to push it to the left a bit. Great. Great. Now, if I want to hold this tray in place so it doesn't move when I'm applying hot air, what I can do is I can solder the sides here. Let's apply two tiny blobs of solder onto the sides so we can secure it down in place while we reflow. Just gonna push down on the tray. And let's do it. here okay so I'm gonna press down on the tray just a tiny bit And we should be good. And it's perfect. Perfect. Now the nice thing about this flux is it will wipe off very easy. So we do not have to worry about the flux sticking on to the board. Just a little bit of alcohol and the flux is out. bye-bye flux very nice let's assemble the board and test Okay, and everything is assembled. Let's connect the battery and I have a SIM card here. The SIM card may not be active, but I do not care. I just want the phone to be able to see the SIM card, even if it's not active. Let's put the SIM card tray inside the SIM card reader. Uh, one problem is the tray itself is broken into areas. 
right in the middle and on the top here. So I do not know if we're going to be able to fit this card inside the SIM reader. Let's see. I'm having a hard time with the SIM card tray. The cord is getting loose when I try to insert it because it's broken. Just want to test. Let me see if I have another S7 tray here because this one is not working. This is an S6 Edge. I do not know if S6 Edge and S7, they share the same tray. No, they, they do not, they do not. What's this? S6. Does the S6 share the same tray? This S6 does not even have a tray. I took the tray of every single phone, really. I just need one tray, that's it. One tray. Unfortunately, we are not able to test this phone. It's 7.15 and we close at six. I was hoping to show you something on camera that the phone is working, but uh, the SIM card tray for the customer is broken. And I do not have something as simple as the Galaxy S7 tray. I have so many Galaxy salvaged phones in the drawer here, but none of them, none of the trays fit the Galaxy S7. So regardless, that's how you change the SIM card tray on the Galaxy S7. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.